Well, today I'm in my bee garden. It's uh, now early January of 2021, and I'm just checking the progress um, of the hives to see if the bees are still alive in there. I think they are. One definitely shows some signs of activity, the other doesn't, but when I checked a week or two ago, both hives were, were alive. So we're gonna have a quick look here. So as you can see here, there's a bee uh, sitting on the entrance to this hive. So most likely it was a dead one that was uh, pulled out. So that's a, actually a good sign. So what I do to check this hive out is I just put my ear up against the side of it, tap it lightly, and I can hear a big buzz. So I know this hive is alive and doing well. Hopefully it'll stay that way through the rest of the winter. So I'm not as encouraged with this hive because I don't see any bees, uh, dead bees on the outside. Also when I listened the other day, it didn't sound very strong of any type of buzzing sound in here. So I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll check. No, actually this hive still seems like it's doing well um, also. So that's a good sign. I definitely heard a buzz sound when I tapped on it. So it's a good, good sign that both hives are alive and working. So I'll just talk briefly about how I have these hives, hives um, winterized. I have one inch rigid foam insulation wrapped all the way around uh, the frame. Um, there's a, a brood box and two supers here. Um, you'll notice here that I have openings in the front for the top um, cover, as well as down at the bottom, it's opened up one inch uh, to allow airflow in and the bees to come and go if they need be when the weather's a little bit warmer. But this, this uh, airflow allows air to come in and then come out the top. Um, so I minimize any humidity that could build up inside the hive. Um, in addition, inside the top cover area, um, I have um, lots of pine needles to basically absorb any moisture. So we have a super and two, sorry, we have a brood box and two supers here of honey. So they should have plenty of honey for the winter. And I did treat them for mites um, in the um, early fall. So I'm hoping we'll have the ability to have this hive and its sister hive survive. One thing I did this past summer is put in a solar panel, a 30 watt solar panel uh, that basically um, goes directly to my 12 volt deep um, uh, marine battery, which I don't have connected right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring that solar panel in. And that has been doing a great job, job um, basically providing the juice that I need to my electric fence unit um, to keep any bears or other animals um, outside of the uh, bee area or the apiary. Um, I also expanded the size of the apiary. Um, I actually have in here some raised, a raised garden bed uh, for some um, tomato plants. And basically you can see those 4x4 four four posts that we put in and made quite a large area now enclosed by this electric fence. And I have to say, it's done a great job. I did have a bear last year try to penetrate into the electric fence and I know it was a bear because it apparently hit the electric fence, jumped back, and hit another fence that I usually keep up here during just the, the summer months, and that fence was knocked down. Um, so, so far that electric fence has been working and very happy with the results. So both hives are alive. Um, everything was looking good in them, and we're gonna continue to monitor them throughout the rest of the winter, and hopefully come April time frame, they'll start to come out and start to uh, begin to collect pollen again and I'll uh, be able to actually uh, get some honey from the hives uh, this coming um, late spring, early summer. Anyways, stay tuned, and if you have questions about this video, just uh, feel free to ask a question down in the, uh, the um, area below. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.